Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. Again, another a figure which a lot of you have been asking me. Is she worth it? Are you going to summon for her? And let us do it now. Okay, Arisa Jingo is going to be uh, arriving tomorrow together with the update. So definitely she is military's class. And she is with Galatea. Okay, so while we're here, let us take a look at her skills what she gives us is she really worth it again and let's start off with her basic attack it's called peace above all so range six slots so it reaches up to the end attacks an enemy from the first from the starts from the first enemy in the same line okay uh basic but her attack speed is fast so uh, as expected with any militarist, it should be fast. So the boosts are 25 and 25 again. You all know this and it's going to be a 50% boost in total. Her ultimate, guys, take note, fruity bullets. Ener initial energy is going to be 30. So definitely this is going to be a bit, a, a bit slow. Slower attack, but attacks the current target 12 times with a 100% crit chance for each attack. Take note of that. And a 15% chance to trigger additional damage. Where the chance to trigger will be adjusted according to the accuracy bonus. Uh, energy regen is 6. Uh, it's the usual upgrade effect. is going to be increased. The damage of ultimate by 25% against ignited enemy. So you can pair her up with an ignite team for Galatea. And uh, level 3, the number of attacks is going to be plus 3. So... What do I think of her ultimate? She is definitely going to pack a lot of punch for Galatea. We are actually good with the front line. We have a vanguard. We have a new defender. And this gives us actually another boost in the militarist category, which is really needed in terms of DPS. So because my opinion, Lubu does not give you as much damage as her. So there's a probability that she's going to replace Lubu. And also, she's going to work well with Ignite teams. Other, um, while Lubu does not work well with Ignite teams. So she, at this point for her ultimate, I'm going to give a thumbs up. And let's go to her passive. No martial arts ethics. When the current target unleashes their ultimate and dies, perform a counterattack that deals massive damage. So every time... There is an ultimate for the current target and dies as well. A counter attack will be triggered. Level 2 increased damage by 10. The counter attack also stuns the target for 1 second. And 3 increases damage by 10. Each time a target is hit by a counter, the target will receive 25% increased damage for the next counter. So again, um, the way her kit is built, from what I, you know, take um, um, my takeaway for this one is that she is going to be good with a single target boss as well as clearing the first target defender in mob. So technically, she's going to do it all for you with massive damage. And the last one is her special mind and body as one that da boosts damage by 15% when there is no enemy surrounding enemies Upgrade effect, increase attack by 5% and crit damage by 10. And level 3 is going to boost damage by 25% when there is no surrounding enemies. Okay, so the ultimate question is, shall I recommend her? Okay, right now I'm ranking her not on the top. She could be tier A, not tier S, based on my tier list. Um, she doesn't have that special, you know special unique trait within her um she doesn't have any utility she has a little bit stun there ignite there um damage for ignite but her main kit is going to be um focused on tremendous damage ultimate damage dealer for galatea as a militarist and again is she a must pull it depends if you're if you're building your galatea team if you want your Galatea team to deal more damage, in which I think all of us need more DPS because the there are stages, again, there are stages in the game we're in. We, we will be building P 
pure Galatea teams, and those teams don't usually have that much DPS. So for Galatea teams, purely Galatea teams, yes, she is a must pull. But if you're not concentrating on Galatea teams, I don't think she is a pull for you. Again, um, but if you want to clear uh, content that only caters to Galatea, then you must get her. So do I see her as one of the top militarists? At this point, um, I'm saying I'm not sure yet. Okay, just to be fair, I'm going to have to test her out. See how much damage she um, she does comparing to the existing, you know, existing militaries that we have. Um, the the previous ones, which are powerful, which is Zerola. Uh, I'm gonna compare her, see if how they're gonna be uh, going toe to toe with each other, and also try to see if she can compete with the tier S. Tier S miniseries that we have. So we have a lot actually. So most of them are um, the best ones are usually collab units. And let's see if she can compete with most of the collab units in the military class. So again, I like the way she looks. She has another skin in which we can get in a limited time. But this look I really like at this point. Um, with a big slingshot here, um, can never go wrong. So, again, guys, um, comments. Um, I'm telling you what what I think, but for me, I will tell you this. I will summon for her tomorrow. I want a boost to my Galatea team, so hopefully, I could you know get her um, with more copies, and we'll see. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.